You are widely known as a Formula One driver and a Formula One uh, team owner. Uh, and what are your reasons to a significant shift from gasoline engines to electric ones? It's not uh, uh, a shift exactly. That means uh, I'm still involved in Formula One also with Renault. But because uh, Renault is also a man. Uh, leader in uh, electrical cars, uh, we also have decided to go into this project. So it's really a parallel uh, uh, thing, you know, uh, we don't want to have any competition or to oppose Formula One and electrical cars, but uh, it, it was good to be at the beginning of the story, you know, it's a new championship, um, new, new races, new concept, you can see it today, but uh, always in the cities. Uh, but it is also the fact that we can also develop this technology in the future. Uh, but we, could, we can also have fun racing, you know, and uh, it's something very interesting because it's new, it's very motivating. Um, how expensive is to create a Formula E uh, team? In fact, it's not too expensive at the beginning, you know, it's uh, much, much less than Formula One. Obviously, we are talking about. Uh, I don't know, uh, 30, 40 times, times less, maybe 50 times less, you know. And uh, the interesting thing is we want to keep the cost quite uh, stable. Uh, we don't want to develop too much the cars, for example, aerodynamic tires, and uh, we want to develop the technology. So we want to spend the money where it's the most efficient, that means engine, gearbox next year, and then batteries, and then new technology for the future. What are your personal feelings uh, about difference between sound of gasoline uh, engines and electric ones? Uh, that's an interesting question. You know, if you if you are with a, if you see an electrical car in the city, it doesn't make any noise. So there is no point that we want to make noise ourselves. We want to keep exactly the same strategy than all electrical cars. That is why also the, the concept is we have only electrical cars. We have the small cars, you know, uh, with electrical engine and. Uh, we all we don't want to have any competition with noise, you know, and thermic engines here. Uh, F1 racing weekend is longer than uh, Formula E. Uh, what are the what are the another major differences uh, between uh, two series? Between Formula One, uh, honestly, you cannot compare. You know, it's uh, Formula One is the the top of the technology. And Formula E is only for electrical uh, engine, electrical cars. So you don't want to compare both. You know? Formula E uh, organizers decided to unify cars, tires, uh, and engines. Is it to make teams' uh, chances closer, or uh, uh, another reason? No, the, the first year it was important to have all the same cars to be close and to start to know something. You know, it's a, it's new. So we have to make also the rules for the next five years, you know, so we, we need to stabilize the situation. We do not know how it's going to work, if we are going to have people and the crowd and the interest. We have a big interest from the media also worldwide. So we know that uh, if you start to develop too soon, it costs a lot of money because you go in very different direction and it can kill the, the series. So we need to stabilize it first. Uh, for the past uh, 20 years, there were no real female uh, drivers in Formula 1. Formula E uh, had two. Is it a step to uh, gender uh, equality in motorsport or just an occasion? If you have a good uh, woman driver, you know, we have absolutely no problem. We had two at the beginning of the year that we do not, do not have any more. You know, pe people change, but I, that does not mean that uh, they were not good. It's maybe a, a other aspect, but uh, we are very open. I mean, I have no problem. You know, it would be good for the city, but uh, they have to be there and they have to be competitive. Let's talk about uh, X uh, one driver in Formula E. Is it a new challenge or for them or just a way to continue career? Uh, I think at, at the beginning they did not know what it was. And they saw that it was uh, interesting. A lot of uh, top drivers, the best drivers of the world except the, those who are in Formula 1 at the moment. And it's very com big competition and they know that uh, it's going to be increasing more and more in terms of popularity and interest. So it's, uh, it's like a new career for them. Uh, what are the advantages of city races in Formula E in comparison with autodrome uh, races in Formula 1? Very important to keep this concept to give the credibility to electrical cars because electrical cars is mainly for the cities and the people are coming easier to the, in, into the city than going to some places where it's... Uh, so we need to keep this concept.
What about the uh, importance of the Moscow race uh, in, the, in the first year championship? Very important for us to be in, uh, in Moscow because it's a very interesting market also especially for constructors and also for us for Renault. It's a big market for them and uh, it's good to show that uh, the electrical cars, they, don't, they are not used to that at the moment. So it's good to start, you know, very important. I'm looking forward to see uh, Russian drivers or uh, Russian team in Formula E. We, we, yeah, that would be very interesting because we had Russian drivers in, uh, in Formula One and uh, we know that there's a big interest for motor racing. I was in a motor show last year or this year. It was really interesting to see how they develop uh, interest for motor racing. Uh, yes, that would be good to have uh, drivers and, uh, and sponsors because it's, uh, you know, we, are, we are open to different markets too.